Now we finally got the names of the founders behind the hottest NFTs. Well, there may have been a ton of controversy behind Congress buying stocks. Now we're getting disclosures on who's actually buying Bitcoin. It's your boy Ross Mack, and these are the biggest crypto stories on Monday, February 7th. The Crypto Minute on the Street presented by Blockchain.com. Now BuzzFeed found and released the names of the Board A Yacht Club founders, who had previously been anonymous. Now this article got a lot of negative feedback from the crypto community, calling this a doxing of the founders. Now the argument from BuzzFeed was, hey, how do you hold them accountable if you don't actually know who they are? Now while many actually felt that the founders should be entitled to their privacy. Now I don't know how I feel about this, but hey BuzzFeed, while you're at it, you think you can figure out who invented Bitcoin? Now Wormhole, the DeFi platform was hacked and the hacker got away with $325 million. The hacker took advantage of a software bug and Wormhole to steal 120,000 Ether. Now the trading firm behind Wormhole is called Jump Trading Group and they were able to fully refund the loss. Now the funniest part of this story is that the team actually offered the hacker $10 million in return for the $325 million that they stole. Now, I'm not the best at math, but that math's not adding up. Now, according to a financial disclosure on Friday, February 4th, Ted Cruz bought the Bitcoin dip. Now, he bought between 15 to 50,000 worth of Bitcoin, and at the time, Bitcoin was trading around 36K. Now, maybe he actually knows something that we don't. Hopefully, that means the U.S. government isn't trying to ban crypto after all. It's your boy, Ross Mack, and this was the Crypto Minute on the Street. This has been the Street's Crypto Minute presented by Blockchain.com.